over behind me, you can see that's the northern side of the island. And then now behind me is the southern side of the island. So Aptaska 38 is a peacekeeping tour. Um, I'm really excited to go over there. Uh, I think it'll be really interesting to um, go and learn about the culture uh, there in, in Cyprus. I'll take in a little bit of a tour so that you can understand what we get up to on our pre-deployment training. I'm patrolling now with uh, Lance Corporal Wellings from the Royal Yeomanry. So we're gonna have a walk around um, and see what's out there. So we've just stepped off on our uh, patrol for the evening. It's now 19.35. And tonight I'm patrolling with Lance Corporal Fenner. Um, as you can see, it's a little bit dark, but we should be fine. An hour and a half patrol, and then we'll be back in for a little bit of downtime before we form part of the quick release force. The next few days, we're just gonna be doing a few little bits and pieces just to finish uh, getting ready to deploy. Um, and then after that, we'll be able to go on some pre-deployment leave uh, before we fly out to Cyprus. Hello again. Um, it is currently 14.45 on the 25th of March. We are now in Cyprus. Uh, today, myself and Lance Corporal Izard are out on patrol um, in the buffer zone. So just behind me now is what's known as Annie's house. Um, the story goes that a lady who was in her 90s, that she lived until uh, she refused to leave her home here in the buffer zone. Um, and the UN soldiers uh, took to looking after her for many years, bringing her groceries or taking her to the shops. Um, unfortunately, not too long ago, she passed away. And it was one of the few times that the northern and the southern side came together in agreement to um, do a little funeral and a, a memorial service for her. Uh, so that's one of the nice stories from the buffer zone. So we've just passed about the halfway points in terms of distance on our patrol um, and we've come up to a point in the buffer zone now where you can see the most pre preserved sign that uh, is in the buffer zone. Uh, so if you have a look just up there you see a Michelin sign which is quite, quite well kept um, so that's just quite a cool point that we get to see. We've stopped in what was one of the old platoon houses, as you can see behind me. A lot of the, the paintings and the wall um, all has to do with some of the regiments that were previously based here. Uh, we've now obviously moved to Ledger Palace Hotel. That's now where we um, stay while we're out here on Optoska 38. Uh, but yeah, let's just have a little look around one of these platoon houses. So we're now up on UN 66 Alpha, um, observing the ceasefire line. We use this as a point just to have a look out, um, observe any points that we can. Uh, it's a little bit of a, a better way to get eyes on a couple more points and positions from up here, as opposed to just walking on the ground. Um, so yeah, we'll stay, stay up here for a little bit, observe a couple of posts and then carry on with our patrol. So we've now reached the top of our area that we patrol in the buffer zone. This is UN 76 and we've bumped into Launch Corporal Fenner and Launch Corporal Holden that are currently on a standing patrol up at the top of our area. Um, so yeah, we'll start heading back in now. I'm finished with work for the day. Um, most of my free time I spend going to the gym. I'm on rest today, so I've decided to come down to the coastline. I'm here at Dekelia Beach to do a little bit of swimming. Uh, this week I'm on a bit of adventure training and I'm doing some rock climbing. Today we're in the southwest of Cyprus. With this amazing view behind me. Myself and 2nd Lieutenant Newsom have just been out on a 7k tab. We're carrying between 15 and 20 kilos. Um, it's a nice day for us, getting in just before the heat hits uh, to go out on patrol in a couple of hours. We went out on a tour of the island with one of the UN flights. Uh, we just landed back down after an hour and a half, so it's a good day. And there they go. 